Hey guys, welcome to the latest battle report for Geeks 40k channel. Um, I did a vlog a couple of weeks ago requesting um, ideas for first battle report on our own table. Um, well, today's the day we're going to do our first battle report on it. So we have gone with Idit Beer's suggestion of Tyranids versus Orcs to Horde armies. So thanks, Nick. Thanks for the uh, thanks for the idea. Really like that idea. So let's get started. Okay guys, so we're doing Emperor's Will, which is one objective marker in our own halves, so and this is the board for today. So we've got the de uh, destroyed cathedral down here, and then we've just got industrial buildings all the way around. Um, we've already rolled, and we're doing hammer and anvil today. Um, this is my deployment zone, and I've put my objective marker right down here, and then Walk the way around to Pete's half. Just got all the industrial units on, and Peter has placed his objective marker down here on this side of the board. Okay, so HQ choice for today's battle. I have got my uh, big met. Um, Pete's obviously going to bring in his nids, and I know that they are very close combatty. So I've left my bikes in the box today so I'm trying something new and going a bit more hoardy uh, I'll see how we get on first of the troop choices today are a squad of shooter boys uh, there's a rocket launcher in there and there's a boss knob who's got a big chopper second squad of uh, boys now these are just uh, normal boys uh, with their truck uh, obviously there's a boss knob in there they've just got a power claw and there's a big shooter third squad of boys um, again big shooter knob with a power claw. Uh, this truck does have the wrecking ball on it so if I drive past anything I feel like hitting them I can do. Final troop choice for today squad of Gretchen with their Ruth Hound so if we roll a mission today which is uh, objective based and there's an objective in my half for the board these guys will literally just go sit on it and, and pretty much not move or battle. They're quite good at holding objectives at the back of the board. Uh, next up is a squad of knobs. Uh, two big choppers in here and one guy with the power claw. First, the heavy support choices are the flash kits and the open top battle wagon. Now, they might not actually use this open top battle wagon, they might hand it over to the knobs to jump in. Uh, so, they might just sit at the back of the board and try and shoot down as many nids as possible as they uh, walk their way across the board. Next heavy support choice is my Death Dread. This guy's got a uh, rocket launcher and he's got the three close combat weapons. I'm actually running my Orcs as Unbound today, so it enables me to take more heavy support. Um, because I get the impression I'm going to need the firepower to uh, shoot up the nids. Next up I've got three killer cans. Uh, these have all got custom uh, mega blasters and obviously then they've got their close combat weapons. And last the heavy support choices we've got the looter squad. Uh, there's a mech in here where he's got a custom mega blaster as well. So obviously these guys are going to sit at the back of the board teamed up with the big mech. Try and lay down as much far as possible onto the nids. And last up we've got the burner bomber. So I know Pete has only got Dakar as his anti-air, so I'm hoping this guy will come on and drop some big Bernie bombs on top of the uh, on top of the Tyranids. Hi guys, HQ for choice for the Tyranids today is a Hive Tyrant with his Tyrant Guard. Tyrant Guard's got crushing claws, and the Hive Tyrant is um, with a bone sword, a lash whip, um, heavy venom cannon, and he's also got the Norn Crown as well to give him a bit more synapse. Um, He's just picked up the Psychic Powers uh, Cataclyst, which is amazing because it's Feel No Pain. Um, and he's also picked up Warp Blast as well, so I'm very happy about that. Um, so let's move on to Elite. Okay, Elite is two Hive Guard. I'm hoping these guys do much better um, in this battle than they have in the previous few battles I've had with them because AP4 actually makes a difference um, to Orcs. Whereas against Marines they are useless. So, but the high strength uh, AP4 gun should be good. And yes, I know I haven't done that base, but it will be done very soon. First troop choice is three Tyranny Warriors, uh, two with best, there's two with Death Spitters, uh, one with Lash Whip and Bone Sword, and one with the Barb Strangler. Okay, 20 Termagants, uh, 10 with uh, Devourers, 10 with just uh, Flesh Borers. Third troop choice is 20 Hormagants. Uh, all with uh, toxic sacks, so that gives them poison. First heavy support choice is the Tyrannifex with Acid Spit. He's also got regeneration. First heavy support choice is the Tyrannifex 
is your acid, acid spray cannon, electro shock grubs, and regeneration. Second heavy support choice is two Carnifex, it's both with uh, twin linked devourers with brain leech worms. Okay, my uh, final choice is a data slate, which is the uh, Children of Cryptus, which is a broodlord with eight gene stealers, and um, it's basically the same as an all gene stealer, but they have stealth, and they also is, they have the horror and the dominion so they can give um, that guy can give um, synapse to people so hopefully going to have a better success than he did um, last battle when he got blew up in the first second so um, fingers crossed he'll have an impact on this game okay or oh, deployment um, the trucks the killer cans the death dread the shooter boys and the knobs have all deployed on this side of the board face time against some of Pete's nids um, the Gretchen's are going to do what they're meant to do, which is literally sit at the back of the board and hold an objective. And on this side of the board, we've got the looters, the big mech, and the flash gits in their open top battle wagon. Okay, time to deployment. Uh, we deployed first. Um, got tiny warriors and termagants. Um, looking down at a huge horde of orcs, which is not looking particularly good for them, but we did deploy first, so they sort of. It's chosen well to deploy his majority of his army there. I deployed the majority of my army on this side of the table because it's anyone with any decent terrain to be honest with you. It's a bit terrain sparse this is but that's a I always think that when I'm playing tyrants because I'm desperate for terrain to move through. So we've got the um, Hive Tyrant with his guard, the Terran effects, two Khan effects is, uh, two Hive Guard and all the Hormigans. So let's see how the new Khan effects gets on. Let's see if the hive torrents can actually the hive guard so we can actually do something. Orc movement turn one. Uh, basically everything on this side of the board has moved up six inches. Uh, the Gretts have stayed still, so have the shoot uh, so have the looter boys. Uh, the flash gits have moved forward like two inches just so they're uh, they can see everything a bit better. We have got night fighting on the first turn. So let's see how the shooting goes. Orc shooting turn one. Basically, this has been a terrible round of shooting. Uh, the looters managed to get nine shots off, and the gene sealers didn't hit one. Uh, the big mech scattered, uh, hitting two, but I rolled an 11 with the strength, so only the target underneath the actual hole is hit, and there was nobody under it, so that was pointless. Um, the flash gets open fire and didn't hit anything. Over this side of the board, the killer cans. Um, took shots with their custom mega blasters and didn't hit anything. The uh, big shooters managed to kill one of the little uh, termagants, so uh, yay, one minute you're dead. And that's pretty much it. Oh, I also, on my Gretchens, I roll targeting array on the mystery objectives. They get to re roll any hits of one. Okay, moving face for um, the Tyranids. Um, move the Tyrant effects and the Hive Tyrant over to support the Termagant and the Tyrant Warriors. Um, moved the Hormigant's Leaping Bound, I've already moved them so they've already um, done that they're running because it seems pointless doing it in the um, shooting phase. Um, so they've just jumped past the Carnifexes. Carnifexes have moved up and the Hive Guard have just um, swiveled around just to see if they can get in range of these guys when they start to cl close in. Gene Steelers have moved forwards, um, hoping to assault those looters. And then finally, we had Psychic Phase. Um, we've given. We failed to cast Cataclysm. I was hoping to give those Terminants feel no pain, uh, but failed to cast that. Um, but we did cast Warp Blast and we destroyed the Death Threads arm um, well, and took a whole point. So, weapon destroyed and um, took a whole point. So. Not too bad so far, it's better when we haven't even got into the shooting phase, so let's do shooting. Okay, Tyranid shooting for turn one. Right, we uh, haven't done particularly well because we haven't got that much armor piercing and everything, everything else is a little bit out of range, so taking a whole point off the killer cam from the Tyranifex's acid spray gun. Um, the Hive Tyrant, unbelievably, in that huge wad um, of orcs, basically it just about there, which is the only place he could have missed. Um, the two Carnifexes have proved to be pretty useful. Um, they did 12 wounds on the looters, uh, but be but because of uh, night fighting and cover saves, uh, 
which saved all but three of them, so three have died. Um, so that's it basically, we're going to move on to um, Assault, so those Gene Steers are probably going to go finish those looters off. So. Okay, Assault has been devastating. Um, Rich failed to use uh, Snapshots, and Snapshots was something I was really worried about, because uh, but he just rolled loads of fives and no sixes, so yeah, I'm filming nothing, because he's just lost his Warlord and all his looters. No Jesus have died in the year. No, no Jesus were harmed in the filming of this section. Put it that way. Orcs movement turn two. My burner bomber has come on. Flew over the top of the gene steer list. They're going to get some bombs in on top of the heads in a minute. Uh, the flash gits have reversed. To try and get some shooting off over there. Over this side of the board, the shooter boys have moved up six and into the ruins of the cathedral. The knobs have moved up. Um, over here, the trucks have unloaded all their boys, and they're uh, they're facing off against the nids over here. So, let's do some shooting. All shooting. Uh, the combination of the flash gits and the burner bomber have uh, taken off quite a lot of the gene stealers down here. Uh, obviously, the brood lord's still alive. Um, over here, the rocket launcher guy from the shooter squad took a shot at Pete's HQ choice and hit him and then rolled a one to wound him, which is really helpful. Um, down here from shooting, there's quite a few termagants gone now, so it's over to Assault. Orc Assault turn two. Um, both squads made it into combat and, uh, well, basically it took one squad to wipe out the termagants. Uh, they consolidated five inches, so we're now staring down the face of these three guys. So it's not over yet. Okay, Tiny turn three movement. Uh, Tiny Warriors have moved back just a little bit, but they're probably going to assault because they're going to get charged by the boys anyway, so they might as well go on equal grounds. They've moved back a bit just so they can get the blast marker, um, the Barb Strangler shot on one of them without fear of hitting themselves. The Tyrant Effects has moved up forward. He is going to be throwing a lot of um, uh, acid sprays on that guy in the shooting phase. Um, Half Tyrant has moved forward a little bit. Tyrant Guards moved forward, um, Hive Guards must move forward a little bit. The Carn Effects have moved forward with the Hormigants. The Hormigants have got an 11 inch charge into those boys. Let's see if they can make it. And then the Broodlord has just moved up towards the Battle Wagon because there's only the Broodlord one GC left, so it's unlikely it's going to survive, but you never know. Okay, Tyrant Shooting. That's been really good, to be honest with you. Um, Tyrant Warriors. Um, Shot the Barb Strangler and the Death Spitters at that squad of Orcs there, one that's lying down, and actually pinned them. So they are pinned. So I'm not going to worry about them for a turn. Um, then the Tyrant Effects opened up his Acid Spray and decimated that Orc squad. So they're pretty much uh, not combat efficient anymore, I'd probably say. Um, the the DAC Effects blew up the, um, the Flyer, and the Hive Guard are also shot that orc squad so as the end of shooting. Tyranid assault phase has not been as effective as the first turn. Um, Tyranid warriors failed to get in because I got a roll of four, pretty pathetic. Um, the Hormigans failed to get in, they needed a 12 and they rolled a, a 10 I think, but then they lost a Hormigan to Snapfire and then the Broodlord um, lost a Gene Stealer to Snapfire out of the open top vehicle and then the Broodlord um, took a whole point off the battle wagon. So it wasn't particularly effective, but uh, seems to be doing more damage in the shooting phase at the moment, so let's see what they brings. Port movement turn three, the guys here are staying in combat so they don't move and have to snapshot. Um, over this side of the board, the shooter boys have stayed still, uh, the knobs have moved around, so has the one truck. The killer cans and the death dread have moved round, facing down against these guys. Uh, these guys rallied, um, and these guys are obviously pinned, and the trucks moved up for some covering fire. Orc shooting, the Broodlord fell to the fire from the flash gets down here. Uh, lost one of these little guys and the shots from the shooter boys. Uh, the killer cans did nothing against the uh, Pete's HQ choice up here. 
Um, and pretty much nothing else managed to wound. Everything else kind of hit or didn't hit and then whiffed all my uh, wound rolls. Orcasaur over here uh, lost two of my killer cans in combat, um, but the most take one wound off the hive guard. Orcus salt over this side of the board, three remaining knobs run into these guys and yeah, basically got Okay, time of movement and psychic phase. Um, time wise to stay put. Tyrone effects has moved forward a little bit, not too much. The Hormigans and the Carn effects have moved forward and the Hive Tarks obviously stuck in combat. And the Hive Guard are staying put. They're keeping within six inches of the objective so that on the last turn they can just jump back and take that. Um, psychic powers failed to cast cat Catalyst for the third well, um, turn in a, in a row, which is very annoying. Um, but I did do Warp Blast and took a whole point off that power weapon. Okay, Tyrant shooting has been pretty successful. Um, Tyrant Warriors killed one Orc boy. Uh, the Tyrant effects are doing really well this battle. AP4 makes so much difference um, against Orcs. Um, killed two knobs and um, took a whole point off that uh, truck. Then the Hive Guard. Uh, took the last two hull points off that truck. The um, the Tyranif uh, the, the Carnifex, sorry, they have been devastating this game. Uh, they've almost wiped out that entire boy squad, so the Hormones are just gonna mopping up actions doing the assault phase. Um, and that's it, yeah, so we're going to assault. Tiny assault. Um, Tiny Warriors, this is the reason why nobody takes them. Uh, they ran to that um, Orc squad, they did really well, uh, killed four of them I think, and then the um, knob just power fisted them and insta-killed all three of them. So it's very annoying because he only did three wounds, but because he insta-killed them, I had to take all three of them off, which is ugh, winds me up. Never mind. Uh, they're still doing well. Uh, Tyrann effects um, wasn't in combat. <laughs> the half time killed the uh, last killer can, and the Hormigans have wiped out that boy squad. Orcs movement turn four, the battle wagon with the shooters has moved up, the knobs have moved up to take on the tire effects, uh, the battle wagon and the boys have moved up that side of the board. Orc shooting, the uh, flash gates open fire, the car effects down here taking off three wounds, uh, the knobs open fire on the tran effects and didn't hit, uh, neither did the big shooter. Uh, the big shooter off the boy squad took a pot shot at these guys right at the back and again didn't hit anything. Orc assault, uh, the knobs down here made it into combat. I did lose two, but the one guy left managed to take two wounds off. Uh, movement phase, the kind of effects are going to assault that. Um um, battle wagon, it's been a thorn in my side all this game, so they're going to go and finish that off. Uh, the Hive Tarant has moved more into the centre of the board to offer Synapse. Uh, the Tyrann effects is still locked in combat. Um, the Hormigants are just going to come and assault those Gretchens, hopefully. And then right at the back of the board, the Hive Guard have just moved on to the objective, just to hold it for the end of the game. Trying to shoot in phase, the uh, Venom Cannon was shot at the Grots down there, uh, killed one of them. Um, the Carn effects can't damage the front of that, but they're going to assault it next turn. And the Hive Guard um, have destroyed that, took the last two glancing hits off that, so uh, go into assault. Tyranid uh, assault, no surprises, the Carn effects is wrecked the Battle Wagon and the end exploded and killed a uh, flash kit. The Hormigans have annihilated the Grots as, as to be expected but they're now out of synapse range so uh, they probably won't be able to hold that objective at the end of next turn. Um, and the knob took a wound but irritatingly took two wounds off the throne effects. Power claws are not nice. All movement turn five, the boys have moved up here to secure line breaking, that's actually going to make any difference. Um, and these guys have all stood still. 
orc shooting, the flash gets open fired on the Carnifex, he's taking one wound off the front Carnifex. Orc assault turn five, uh, the knob finally fell down to the train effects, he hit him and hit him hard but he stood up quite well, taking him down to two wounds at the end. Uh, with that we are going to call it Nid's win, because um, literally I have my flash kits left and some boys at the top of the board. Um, so yeah, Nid's win. <laughs>